How's it going guys, I'm Jack and in this video I'm going to show you my top 10 tips and starting strategy for Frostpunk The Last Autumn. So let's get started. Before we start it would be awesome if you could leave a like on the video as it really helps out the channel and also hit the subscribe button if you like content just like this. So tip number one is a simple one but just pause the game straight away. This will allow you to place buildings, assign workers and also sign laws which without wasting any time you're going to need as much time as possible in this game uh, because things can go horribly wrong very quickly while we've got it paused this brings us on the tip number two is sign a law straight away i go for radical treatment it's just so i don't have to wait to sign this later when i need it and it also it doesn't require any resources other laws like the chapel or bathhouse require you to use resources to build buildings which we just don't have that at the moment after this law we're going to focus on laws that boost the motivation bar and try and get it over 75 percent as that gives you a 30 percent boost on efficiency in all workplaces which is invaluable so tip number three we just need to gather these resources as quickly as possible so we're going to build a couple of gathering posts making sure all of the piles turn green and also assign the workers to the piles straight away we don't worry about the steam cores pile because if you put workers on there they just don't pick it up fast enough and we've got a gathering post covering it anyway so that's fine so we're just going to quickly run through the game and once those are built we are going to pause it and assign workers so we've only got five workers left for this one so we can take some off the steel pile uh, so take five off there and put them in there just having everyone on piles and that just make sure your maximum efficiency uh, there's literally no point having people sat doing nothing tip number four is making sure everyone has a tent for the first night so that means we need nine tents which require 90 wood and with this we should be able to get it on the first day the reason we need everyone to have a house the first day is because we just don't want people getting sick overnight and if they don't have a tent they will 100% get sick this just tells us we are, uh, get, have to gather the resources and build docks and stuff which we'll get to a bit later so like I was saying if they get sick you you need to buy, build a medical post and that requires five engineers as well however later on we're gonna build uh, three workshops just to boost up the research to 150 percent straight away which is another tip but we'll get to that later so it's important you uh, arrange the houses in a like well straight away so I normally do a row of five and then add a little bit of path here a little bit of path here and build another four once we can so it's gonna run it forward a little bit more until we've got 40 wood up here there we go so we have actually got 15 engineers idle at the moment and they're the ones doing the building which is okay uh, because we haven't got workshops just yet after this I delete these bits of wood here just to tidy it up a little bit it's not necessary but I don't know I'm a bit OCD about that <laughs> so we need to connect these up with paths that's enough housing for everyone and just connect it just like that and then you've got a little bit extra over there so we're still collecting wood however if you do find yourself that you don't have enough wood this brings us on to tip number uh, tip number five, which is just delete this this road around the work uh, work site. It gives you at least fifteen wood, and you don't have to. You literally don't have to have it all game. Just as long as they're connected uh, like that, that's that's fine. So tip number six is. Get three workshops going straight away. Again, I do a, the trick with this wood. Now, we're not going to have enough wood to 
build these. However, uh, where is it? Tech. As long as we can build one, that's fine, and connect it up, which we should be able to do. Yep, yeah, there we go. Right, so let's run the game forward. So yeah, like I said, the more workshops you have, uh, the faster the research is. So it's key that you research stuff as quickly as possible. And like I say, you, you want all your people working and no one to be idle. So it's literally, there's no point not building three workshops and we'll assign those in there. And the first thing we're gonna actually research is the sawmill. We don't have enough wood for it just yet, so we'll do that as soon as we get enough resources. Okay, so we can now sign a new law. Like I said, we we're gonna focus on laws that uh, raise motivation. So what we're gonna do is sign the chapel right now. And we are going to have to build that. However, we are going to have uh, enough wood to do that after all the wood piles have been depleted. Okay, so it's the morning now. And people have gone to work. And now here we have enough wood to start researching the sawmill. I think it's important to get as much wood as possible. Like straight away because you need it for research. And actually building a lot of the stuff. Um... And like I said, once we can, we're actually going to build three workshops. So we need another uh, another 20 wood. So let's, uh, uh, oh, let's run that forward. And what has happened over here? Uh, so with stuff like this, at the start, I, if it's going to cause motivation to fall, then I, I won't do it. So I don't mind having a little bit, bit of discontent because right now it's so low you can handle it. So let's get the second workshop up and running. And also, there we go, we've got enough for the third one now. That's awesome. And like I say, the more workshops you have, the better. And why not have three out the gate? You've got enough engineers for it and you've got enough materials. So you might as well. Okay, so let's assign these workers, uh, those engineers there. And we'll assign those engineers there so yep yeah, that's got 150 percent research rate at the moment which is a real good boost so once it's research we're going to pause the game just quickly and start our second research which is going to be the docks so we're going to start that up and this game uh this dlc is pretty much all about getting as many resources as quickly as possible so what we're going to do is build a few sawmills around the place uh, so we'll put one there and we'll put one there and we'll put one we'll put one there we have enough wood so we'll connect all these up try not to destroy the resources uh, the trees when you're placing them however it's not really it's not it's not that that much uh, it's that not that big of a deal if you do however it's better if you don't so the reason we've put three down is eventually these piles are going to be depleted and that means we're going to have a bunch of spare workers well, we can sign another law now so what we're going to do is sign evening service and we've got enough to we've got enough wood to build the chapel so it's important to plan out, like I said before, plan out the houses. Uh, so here we can cover, it's not quite in the middle, but we can cover pretty much all of the houses. Well, we can cover all of the houses here. And then we can build up into this area as well. And that's going to give us a good boost on motivation. So tomorrow we should be researched. We should have researched the docks by tomorrow. And we'll get them set up straight away. So yeah, the chapel built, the motivation has risen, which is fantastic. And also, because we've got evening service, we can actually do that. But it requires food rations. So let's start. We haven't got we haven't got enough workers just yet. 
so we'll run through the night. The next thing to do is actually build a cookhouse. Uh, it's important <laughs> that people have food, otherwise they'll start getting ill. However, you don't actually have to start building it until like day three, because people are not, not hungry at the moment. Uh, not now. That's just saying motivation will fall each morning. And right, so it's morning time. So yeah, these resource piles should be depleted by today. So we can start filling up these sawmills. While we're at it, we're gonna build this cookhouse. Just gonna try and try and make it so we're not using as much wood by placing everything together. And now we've got the docks ready. So once we've got enough wood for that, we'll build that straight away. So yeah, like I said, here we go. We've got all the resource piles have been depleted. So we can get rid of that. There's only one left, which is this. Uh, but that is collecting that is collecting them, so that's fine. Right, so now this is why we've got three sawmills. We've got so many people. We need them to do something. And we've still got 35 left, so we can put five in the cookhouse. People are starting to get hungry now, so that's that's made it just in time and also we can start a next uh, the next research goal which is going to be foragers quarters and we're going to start getting food in from outside so let's get the docks sorted oh, place them there and we're actually going to use a gathering post as well just there and that's going to require uh, 10, 20, 20 workers. Uh, and that means we're going to have 10 left, which is awesome. So once this gets built, so to raise motivation, we can actually we actually, actually click that. It costs 20 food rations, but at the moment, it's I think it's worth it just to get motivation up as quickly as possible. So yeah, let's assign workers to that. And also get the docks sorted and we're gonna start collecting steel on this one which I think have we been keeping track of what tips they are tip number eight <laughs> still we don't have to worry about coal just yet that's gonna be uh, that's gonna come a little bit later on uh, so the next thing to do is setting up the foragers quarters which is why we're researching it at the moment we are going to need 15 people for that. 15 workers. We've got 10. Uh, so we'll just take 5 off one of the sawmills. And we can assign them to be the foragers. So run that forward as quickly as possible. And... Oh, right. So this is the telegraph station. We need to build this as part of the first bit as well. I like to put the telegraph station a little bit out of the way just so it's not taking up valuable space. I mean, it does cost 16 wood to just build that path, but at the moment I think we're fine. Uh, we're, we're getting a lot of wood. So, forager's quarters have been uh, researched, so we can stick those down. I'm going to stick that just there. And now we can sign another law. Now, I like doing hearty meals at the moment because we don't have that many people to feed and we'll put make sure they're doing hearty meals and that's going to raise motivation and like I said it's invaluable having that motivation and uh, over 75% giving you a 30% boost. Uh, the next thing we're actually going to research is going to be the fishing harbour so first of all we need to get drawing boards uh, because it's worth stockpiling as much food as possible during the early game. So once we're on, uh, so yeah, I'll click that, motivation will rise slightly. Set up the forager's quarters as soon as possible. So tip number nine is just sending out the foragers as quickly as possible. So we're just gonna take five off of that, put them on there. And we're going to send them to reindeer tracks and then once they get there 
we'll send them to the next place, which I think is the hunting grounds, which is guaranteed food. So once um, drawing boards have been researched, which is fantastic. So the next is fishing harbour. So once we have the telegraph up and running, So here we go, the, the steam cores have been depleted, we'll get rid of this gathering post and we have another 10 people free so they can go onto the fishing harbour once we build it. And there we go, so straight away I like to order as many, as many people as I can, as many workers as I can. Because we're going to need the manpower. And that is tip number 10 actually. Just order as many workers as you can from the telegraph station. So the good thing about having these sawmills like that is. Once you, when you need workers you can just take them off. And if you've got spare you can just put them on like that as well. Uh, but like I said when we have the fishing harbour set up. We're going to take five off there and put them on the fishing harbour. So let's run that forward. So these have reached the reindeer tracks. There's nothing there, so move on and go to the hunting grounds. And to be honest, we're nearly finished with the very first bit. And we can sign another law. Um, I'm going to sign the public house just like that. And we can build that just there fantastic and that requires workers so like I said you can take take um, workers off a sawmill and put them on there and now we have a pub it's fantastic so there we go uh, the fishing harbour has been research so we'll build this one over here uh, the next thing we're going to do on here is profiles manufacture so start that and that's going to set up us set us up for the next bit when we're actually building the uh, work uh, the uh, building on the construction site and with that this should be getting built it is getting built uh, with five people, but they're not over there just yet. So profiles manufacturer has been researched. So the foragers have reached the hunting grounds. If we explore that, it gives us a uh, food source. So if we set up camp, and that is the first bit complete. So there we go. That is the generator shaft structure. And also my top ten tips for starting out on Frostpunk. So if you have enjoyed the video guys, it would be awesome if you could hit the like button. If you have any suggestions, questions or comments, please leave them down in the uh, comment section below. And as always, stay safe, have fun and I'll see you on the next one.